Good morning. The period of simple harmonic motion is the time it takes to complete one full cycle. Flippin' physics. The symbol for period is capital T, and the units for period are usually seconds or seconds per cycle. However, the units for period could also be minutes, hours, days, fortnights, decades, millenniums. <laughs> Using our previously defined positions of one and three, where the object, where the magnitude of the, of the object's displacement equals the amplitude, which is the maximum displacement from equilibrium position, and where position two is at the equilibrium position. Recall that the simple harmonic motion pattern is one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, and so on. Olivia, if the object starts at position one, please describe one full cycle. If it starts at position one, it goes through two, then three, then back to two, then back to position one for one full cycle. So the time it takes to do that will be the period. Correct. Kevin, if the object starts out at position three, please describe one full cycle. So that will be three, two, one, two, three. Also correct. Anish, if the object starts out at position two, please describe one full cycle. It starts at two, then, well, which way is it going? That's, that's a good question. Let's have it moving toward position three. Then it would go two, three, two. Oh, and then it needs to keep going to one and then back to two for one full cycle. Very nice. Notice if it were going the other way, the order would be two, one, two, three, two for one full cycle, and the period would be how long it takes for that to occur. Mr. P? Yes, Olivia? What if the object starts somewhere between those three positions? Okay, sure. So then one full cycle would be when the object starts and ends at the same location and is moving in the same direction at the end as it was at the start. You can see this is true for position two. If it starts at position two and is moving to the right, then the first time it gets back to position two, it is moving to the left, which means it did not go through one full cycle. It has to continue all the way back to position two and be moving to the right before it has gone through one full cycle. We can do the same thing with the object starting halfway between positions two and one and moving to the right. The first time it gets back to halfway between positions one and two, it is moving to the left, which means it has not gone through one full cycle. It, it has to continue all the way back to halfway between positions one and two and be moving to the right before it has gone through one full cycle. All right, let's move on to the equations. The period of a mass spring system equals two pi times the square root of the mass attached to the spring divided by the spring constant of the spring. The period for a pendulum equals two pi times the square root of the pendulum length divided by the acceleration due to gravity. The pendulum length is defined as the distance from the center of suspension to the center of mass of the pendulum. The center of suspension is the location of the top fixed end of the pendulum. Hi, I'm sorry, I need to come in for a minute. Um, so I need to mention that this period equation is for a simple pendulum specifically. A simple pendulum is where there is a point mass attached to a string or rod of negligible mass. In other words, all of the mass of the simple pendulum is concentrated at the end of the pendulum at its center of mass. Again, this is called a simple pendulum. Okay, now you can get back to that. Those are the equations. Now let's identify what affects the periods of pendulums and mass spring systems. Kevin, which of these two period equations has amplitude in it? Neither of the two period equations has amplitude in it. So do you think amplitude affects period? Uh, no, it looks like amplitude does not affect period. That is correct. And you can see in these demonstrations that amplitude does not affect the time it takes for one full cycle. Adjusting just the amplitude of the pendulum or the amplitude of the mass spring system does not cause a change in the period of simple harmonic motion. Anish, is acceleration due to gravity in the period equation for a mass spring system? No, so a change in the acceleration due to gravity does not affect the period of a mass spring system. Whoa, so a mass spring system will have the same period on the moon as it has on the Earth. Whoa. Olivia, is the mass of the pendulum bob in the equation for the period of a pendulum? 
Uh, who is Bob? Oh, I'm sorry. The, the mass at the end of the pendulum is typically called a bob. Have I not explained that before? No, I would remember Bob. Again, I'm sorry, but so the question is, does the mass of the pendulum bob affect the period? The mass of Bob is not in the equation, so no, his mass does not affect the period. Correct. As you can see in this demonstration, changing just the mass of the pendulum bob by having the pendulum bob be wood, aluminum, or brass does not have any effect on the period of the pendulum. That is why all of these pendulums have the same period. Anish, what if we increase the mass in a mass spring system? What happens to the periods then? If we increase the mass in a mass spring system, well, the mass is in the numerator, so an increase in mass will increase the period. Yes, as you can see, an increase in mass increases the time it takes for one full cycle. Olivia, what happens to the period of a mass spring system if we increase the spring constant? We are increasing the spring constant. Okay, because the spring constant is in the denominator, increasing the spring constant will then decrease the period. That's right. As you can see, an increase in spring constant decreases the time it takes for one full cycle. Kevin, what happens to the period of a pendulum if we increase the distance between the center of suspension and the center of mass of the pendulum? L, the pendulum length, is on the top of the fraction, so an increase in the pendulum length will increase the period of the pendulum. Again, correct. The longer the distance between the center of suspension and the center of mass of the pendulum, the longer it takes for the pendulum to go through one full cycle. Anish, if we increase the acceleration due to gravity, what happens to the period of a pendulum? The acceleration due to gravity is in the denominator, so increasing the acceleration due to gravity will decrease the period of the pendulum. Yes, now I do apologize, however, the, the flipping physics budget does not allow for me to leave the surface of the planet to demonstrate how changes in the acceleration due to gravity affect the period of a pendulum. I'm sorry. Maybe if you had donated more. Kevin, I like where your head is at, thanks. <laughs> okay, I would like to take a moment to go back to the amplitude of a pendulum not having an effect on the period of a pendulum. Realize all of the amplitudes for these pendulums are less than 15 degrees. That's right, a pendulum is only in simple harmonic motion if its amplitude is less than 15 degrees. Correct. I have now added a pendulum with an amplitude of roughly 45 degrees. Notice how the period of this pendulum is not the same as the others. That is because this pendulum, which has an amplitude greater than 15 degrees, is no longer in simple harmonic motion, and therefore the period equation for simple harmonic motion no longer applies to this pendulum. The motion of this pendulum is still periodic, however it is no longer simple harmonic motion. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.